Hey guys, Will and James here, E3 2016. We're what up? Joseph, creative director of Microsoft and writer for Record. Yep. Uh, you guys had an amazing showing at the briefing. We were just talking a little bit about it. And uh, there seems to be a lot of buzz about this game. This is an original IP, a right. new game. Well, in your speech, uh, just give me a little bit of, ba or um, how, how do you say it? Your elevator pitch of what is Record at its, at its heart? Sure, so Record is made by a couple different teams. Uh, Keiji Inafune, who's the grandfather, not real grandfather, but the creative genius behind Mega Man, sure. and the former leads of the Metroid Prime team came together to make ReCore. So if you think about Mega Man, you think about Metroid Prime. That's a rich history. That is, yeah, yeah and you put those two games together in a modern engine, that's basically ReCore. It's a great new action platformer game. Excellent. I mean, what was the, the inspiration? Did you set out and know you were going to do a platforming game, or you just you wanted to create a, a different kind of play style? What was your driving uh, inspiration behind the game? Yeah, so those guys came to us with a pitch for exactly that. Hey, let's capture that great classic feel of a Mega Man or Metroid Prime, but let's layer some more systems on top of it. A real progression system, crafting, bigger world to explore. Uh, so that pitch was great just from a game design point of view, but they also came to us with really wonderful characters too. Jewel Adams, the main character, and especially her core bots, her yeah. robot companions. Which we saw more from yeah. at the briefing this year. I mean, there was, uh, I think, a four or five in total? Yep, so uh, there are three that we sort of highlight. Seth, the blue core in the dog, uh, who's very cheerful and adventurous. Jules Best Friend. Sorry, that's Mac. Mac. Mac yeah. is the blue. It's been a long show. Dude. It's been a long We feel long you. Day. None of us have eaten, you know. Yeah. I know, slept, right? Really? I got a granola bar in my pocket. We can split out. <laughs> I got, I got one in my great. book bag, so yeah, good. four ways. So Mac is the blue dog. Yeah. Uh, Seth is the yellow spider, sort of a cowardly, frightened character. Yeah. And nice. then Duncan is the big, gruff, stubborn, red, uh, heavy hitter in the gorilla frame. So yeah. those are the three core bots we're talking about. But if you look carefully in the trailer, you'll see in the background that there are a couple other frames yeah. that we aren't talking about. Oh, we about did. Yet. Oh, you did. Yeah. 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 Uh, I've been interested in Recore since we saw like the first like kind of teaser trailers. Yeah. Um, and it kind of seemed focused more on the robots, but I was very happy to see that the main character herself was very mobile yep. and platforming. And now that you've told me the lineage, the pedigree, if you will, yep. of the series, that makes so much more sense. Also, like I noticed during the uh, the uh, briefing, the platforms were very small that she was jumping yeah. to. So there's that Mega Man challenge there. I love that. What were were you aiming for that? Absolutely. Yeah. When people first look at the game, I think they think oh, it's colorful and it's charming and might be pretty easy, but for people who are in the know about Mega Man and Metroid and they watch the trailer, like... There's more depth. Like, yeah. Yeah, this game is going to be hard. I mean, there definitely are real challenges in And it game. was fast, too, which yeah. I like to see. Yeah, yeah. Jewel is super agile. And if you look, there's also no cover. Like, you're not hiding right. behind you're boxes. Right yeah. Yeah, yeah, so you're only real... It's just you and your bots, man. Yeah, so right. you need to be able to move and dash and jump. Uh, so it's a very, very fast-paced, agile game. So as a writer, uh, how would you describe her character? Because uh, obviously you probably have a close relationship with that. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Jewel is everything you need a hero to be. She's strong and fast, but she's also resourceful. The other thing that she's got, too, is she has the ability to make a real team or a family yes. out of these robots. I mean, Seth is scared and maybe doesn't want to do things all the time, and Duncan's really stubborn and wants to charge in. You sort of need somebody to go, all right, boys, wait, like, let's get together, get let's do this. Out. Like, yeah. So she's a real leader, as, as well as just being a strong, agile Does character. that lend itself to more strategic gameplay, so you have to use each character with their uh, certain abilities to solve puzzles, to get through the game, progress? Yeah. Absolutely. You know, I've seen people step up to the demo here, and we debated before we came to E3, like, do we want an accessible, easy demo that anybody can walk up and play, or do we want to... Yeah, give people a it. real challenge, and we brought. A, I think it's more impactful if you let them have. Yeah, it. and we brought a mission from the middle of the game, where as a player, you have all the tools in front of you. You have Jules' rifle. You have her extractor grappling hook. Hook. You've got two core bots, each with their own abilities. You've got jump and dash, and you sort of see people pick up the controller and go, "Oh my God! Uh -huh. Like what did I get myself into?" Yeah. And then ten minutes later, once they played with it, it's this fluid, fun flow of just different choices. It's really, it's really fun to see. Now, I know you've been down on the floor a lot, and uh, after these people finish the demo. How's the response been so far? Well, most people don't want to stop, which is great. Like they're, they're a little bit angry when we tell them, hey, you got to go away. But here's the t-shirt, so they like that. But um, people really have liked it. I think they've come in with certain 
uh, ideas about the game, what it might be. You it, shattered my expectations, because I did. I, I had predisposed expectations. Like yeah. I said, I thought I was going to focus more on the robots and maybe that she was going to be more of a passive character, but I love like seeing that she's very able, has a huge arsenal, yeah. um, though there was no real dialogue or anything. I feels like she's spunky. Is there going to be like a di lot of dialogue between her and the robots? Like you said, she kind of has to yeah, urge, yeah. hug him on. Yeah, exactly. So if you ever seen a Lassie movie where, yeah. you know, it's like, rawr, 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 what's it's that my Lassie? favorite movie. Like, who's down the well? Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. So it's a little bit like that. She's able to understand the language of the core bots cool. and carry on conversations with them. Yeah. Um, and there may be other characters in the story too that we're not talking about just yet, but the core relationship is between her and her friends. I, I see what you did there. Yeah, I do that all the time yeah, unintentionally. No. Sweet. I do too. That's Unintentional cool. puns. And people are like, good one. I was like, I, I didn't mean yeah. to. Yeah. It just kind of it happens yeah, yeah. naturally. Yeah. Uh, when can we expect to get our hands on this? So the good news is, is it's coming out really soon from September 13th of this year. And it's part of the Xbox Play Anywhere program. So Excellent. you buy it on PC, you can play it on Xbox, you buy it on Xbox, you can play it on PC. Uh, so we're really excited about that. Nice. You can only play this on the Xbox. I mean, you, you guys, uh, once again, we couldn't be more excited about this title. Thank you so much for Thank joining you, us. Man. We really appreciate it. Excellent. It's been a blast. Press Thank our you. TV. Yeah. We'll have more for you on Recore soon. Later.